the cheapest way to privately deploy your LLM API. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can run your private LLM API using Salad. I'm not saying that because Salad is sponsoring this video. I'm saying that because Salad is a literally the cheapest cloud GPU provider for consumer grade GPUs. And I'll link this page in the YouTube description for you to find it out yourself. The 4090s come about 30 cents per hour. So I'm going to give you step by step guide of how you can go use Salad to deploy your favorite LLM using Olama. And Olama is going to help you deploy the LLM and also to serve the LLM. So we're going to do both deploying using Olama and also to serve the LLM to ask any question that we want. For now, I've got this already deployed on Salad and I can just go and ask a question. Like for example, I can say, write a joke about Elon Musk in English. And as you can see, it takes about approximately 10 seconds, particularly the configuration that I have selected for it to give me the response back when I'm not streaming. And you can change this by selecting a better machine. And we're going to go through a very simple process, like a ridiculously simple process, even if you do not understand anything in computers. The first thing that you have to do is you have to sign up for Salad. Like I said, Salad is sponsoring this video. Thanks to Salad for sponsoring this video. I'll link the link in the description so where you can go sign up for Salad. And after you sign up for Salad, you would come across a page like this. Once you log in, this is going to be a landing page. You might have an organization you might not have. If you do not have an organization, you can create one. In my case, I have an organization. So I'm going to go to my organization. After I go to my organization, as you can see here, Olama currently is running. So I'm going to show you a demo of how you can deploy your own LLM. First go here and then click deploy new container group. And once you click deploy new container group, you have to give a name. So I'm going to say Olama demo. So after I've specified the name Olama demo, the next thing is I have to specify the image source. Where do I get the Docker container from? So for that, I link it in the YouTube description. You can go get it directly from Docker Hub. And it is very simple even if you don't go there. So it is Olama slash Olama. Copy that, come back here and then paste it with the image. And then you can just say you want the latest image. And once you do that, you can say configure. Once you configure, you would start seeing the estimated cost. Okay, based on my current configuration, this is my estimated cost. But obviously, you cannot run an LLM in this configuration. We are going to increase the configuration. Do you want to increase the number of replica? This is based on your condition. So if you want to run this as a production deployment solution, then having more number of replicas will ensure that you have got uptime. But if you're doing it for prototyping, just like I'm doing for a demo, then you don't have to increase it. The next thing is you select the number of CPUs that you want. I'm going to go with one CPU and how much RAM that you want. One thing that you need to keep in mind is the RAM memory that you're going to get for CPU is different from the graphics memory that you're going to allocate. So depending upon what is your use case, you can go ahead with that. It doesn't cost a lot. So I'm going to go ahead with 16 GB of RAM. After you do that, now is the time we're going to select the GPU. As you can see, they've got all the consumer grade GPUs, 2060, 4019, 2080, 3070, and they've got like bunch of other GPUs. You can select any GPU that you want, one GPU or multiple GPUs. Like for example, I can select this and I can select this. As you can see here, based on that, my cost increases. I'm going to go ahead with only one GPU. In this case, I'm going to go ahead with 4090, 24 GB. So that's the only GPU that I'm selecting. And after I do that, I have to make sure that I have enough disk space. Why do we need enough disk space? We're going to download the model from Olama Model Hub. And every model that you specify as a particular storage size. So for example, in this demo, we're going to use Quen. So Quen comes about like 2.3 GB. And for example, if you're going to use a different model, like let's say Mistral, then it is going to have its own, or for example, let's say Gemma. So if you go Gemma, Gemma is going to take 5.2 GB. So depending upon the model that you select, make sure that you give the right storage amount. So in my case, because I'm selecting Gwen, I'm going to go ahead with something around like 10 to 15 GB. So I'm going to go ahead with 15 GB. And um, you, you, you don't see like a huge amount of uh, space uh, difference in that, uh, the cost difference in that. So go ahead, select that. And after you do all these things, one thing that you have to make sure for this particular use case, which is to deploy your own LLM powered by Olama is you need to enable the networking. 
the reason is because old llama is always exposed and one one four three four let me just quickly check that what is the end point one one four three four yes so old llama is exposed at one one four three four so we need to give that particular port and do you want it to have authentication which means if you're going to use this and then send it to somebody who whom you don't want to just use it with the link literally like how i'm doing because i'm i'm just making a call without any authentication so you don't have to use authentication but if you prefer having an authentication then you can go ahead with authentication i'm not going with authentication for this particular demo but if you're going to use this on internet i think it is well wise for you to go with authentication configure it after you configure it most likely we are done deploy the model once you deploy the model, you can see that the container is getting prepared. It is going to download the model first and it is going to make it available for you. While it is doing all those things, you already get a do access domain name. So if you click this access domain name right now, what you will see is you will see something like uh, it is getting prepared. Let me paste this for you and you can see it is working. Salad is working and the container is not yet ready. So 503 service unavailable. That means it is still under preparation or something is wrong. It could be both. Either it is still allocating or something could be wrong. How do you know that difference? You can go here and then see whether the allocation is happening or it is downloading the model. As you can see, it has already downloaded 32%, 39% in uh, 33 seconds. So it will take its own bit of time for it to download. And once it successfully downloads, like this, you will get it. You will get Olama is running. Instead of having this error that says your container error, you will actually get a message saying Olama is running. And what I'm going to do after it gets successfully deployed, I'm going to go to my code. This is running on my local Visual Studio code. And I'm going to change this particular API endpoint to the new API endpoint that we are deploying, which is based on this. As you can see here, We'll end up using this API endpoint in our code and then use it. What this lets you do is immense. For example, you can use locally for prototyping option one. Option two, you can production deploy for whatever EA application that you build. Option three, you can use this as a fallback URL. A lot of times people prefer having, let's say you are using some API service or open AI, but sometimes you want a fallback URL where if that service goes down, you don't want your users to get frustrated. You want a fallback URL, then you can use this as a fallback URL. And there are a lot of other things that you can do with this thing. So it's up to you what you want to do, but I'm going to just quickly show you a demo of how to download a model. Like in this case, we're going to use Quinn and how to make some calls so that we can see how good it performs. At this point, 90%, approximately 90% is done. At this point, you can see that it is running. And here also you can see the status that it is running. Even if you go to your main page, all the container groups, you would notice that the new demo that we created, Olama demo is running. So what we can do is we can first verify it. So we can go to the same page and then refresh it. If it shows Olama is running, I think then we are well and good. Yes, it shows Olama is running. Then all we have to do is copy this URL, go back to the code where we are using the LLM as an API. How are we doing it? So all we have to do is replace this code, this part of the code with this one. So I've replaced this with this and uh, let's run it. Let's run it and then see if it first runs properly. First thing we are going to do is we're going to download the model called Quen. So run this and it will take a little bit of time because it has to download 2.5 GB sized model. So as you can see, it is running. Let's wait for it to run. It took about 46 seconds for it to download. Once we have it downloaded, the next thing is we can make a call. So I'm going to replace the API link once again, which is the new API, which we just literally deployed during the course of this video. I was like literally live doing it. And I'm going to just say, write a joke about Elon Musk in English. I'm making a curl command. You can write it as let's say Python request, whatever language that you want, you can do it. At the end of the day, it is an API endpoint and you can hit it with whatever language that you like to hit with. Model is Quinn. What is a prompt? Write a joke about Elon Musk in English. The reason I'm using in English is because this is a Chinese or uh, predominantly um, developed by China. So that means like it, it is possible that it might have some Chinese characters. So to avoid that, I'm saying write it in English and format is JSON and stream is false. This one is using the model Quinn. 
So let me send it. I guess it will take 10 to 11 seconds. Let's see how much time it takes. It took about nine seconds for it to get the output. Joke, why did Elon Musk invent teleportation? Because he wanted to avoid traffic. And this entire response has been forced and given to you back as a JSON object. That means if you want to do function calling or a bunch of other things, you should be able to do it. Let me ask one more question in this case. Write a joke about Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg. Let's see if it does something. I'm going to ask this question and I've run this. I've done it on Notepad, uh, sorry. I've done it on Jupyter Notebook just for you to understand it easily. But technically the way you would use this, you would take this API endpoint and then put it in the application that you're developing and then iterate it and then play with it. And all this is at a very minimal cost that we just saw. So why did Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg have to go to the doctor? Because they both had tunnel vision. Ha <laughs> ha I don't know how it is a joke, but it is a joke. If you want to download more models, all you have to do is you can run this again, which says whatever the API endpoint is, pull the model name of the model. And where do you get the name of the model? You can go to Olama hub and then find the model name like this, like this, and then you can start using it. And let's say you have used all these things and everything that you have done is good. You can go back to the demo or go back to the container that you're running and then you can stop the container so that you don't have to pay more. So, so far it seems like I've been running this for uh, more than four minutes. So I can just click stop and then it will stop running it. And whenever you want, you can just start it again and then you can start using it. And this entire thing, we wouldn't even have uh, spent, you know, less than like, let's say 50 cents. That's the entire thing this would have cost thanks to the lower pricing that salad has got, which is validated by the market also. So depending upon the computer that you select, this is probably the most affordable, the cheapest option for you to deploy your large language model as an API endpoint, not using any API out of box. You're literally deploying, do, doing a private deployment and making the API endpoint exposed. If you want to see a tutorial about how you can host your private chat GPT with UI of Olama, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, I hope this helps you in creating your own AI application at an accelerated speed. Let me know in the comment section what you feel about it. See you in another video. Happy prompting.